It's almost 2018, and black women are the most educated people in America, according to the National Center for Education Statistics. Out of all of the black people who received an associate's degree, 66% were female. And as for those who received a bachelor's degree, 64% were female, whereas white women were 60% and 56%. Um, education for African-American students has been a very, very, very long uh, walk. And so... Um, since black people were on the continent now known as America in the 1600s, um, there was an entire 200 years almost that went by before a black person stepped foot on a, on a campus for higher education. I think 1799, John Chavis was the first black college student. 24 years later, um, Alexander Lucius Twilight was the first student to graduate from college, and um, that was in 1823 when African Americans were still enslaved. We've come a long way since Elizabeth Eckford was escorted into Central High School in Little Rock, Arkansas, or even when Mary Jane Patterson became the first black woman to receive a bachelor's degree from Oberlin College in 1862. Slavery ended in 1865. You didn't know that, did you? So why aren't we educated on us? I will say that education has sort of lagged, but still has gradually progressed in making not just the sort of inclusion in, in education and being able to sit in a classroom, but also the quality of edu education and the responsiveness of education to the needs of black students and other students of color. That's been something that has developed over time. So the institution of education on this continent, of course, was first for rich white males and first expanded to include white women and then expanded to include elite black folks and then um, expanded to include poor folks through programs like the Pell Grant and so forth. Um, and with that, so with that being said and that being the sort of trajectory of evolution in this country, you can imagine that the responsiveness of what actually happens in the classroom is following suit. So we're not ahead of the game. Like whenever you see um, black students' performance and showing up in education, you have to take into account not only being able to regurgitate a curriculum and an educational paradigm that's not designed for the black student, there's the reach first to get to the basis of being able to, to be in the space, the amount of recall and regurgitation of the information, and then there's the additional challenge of still performing satisfactorily while also maintaining your righteous black mind, you know? Um, and so I think that is the current challenge in a system of education is what does it mean to be a high achieving student in an educational paradigm that is still working to be more inclusive and more responsive to people in general. Education amongst blacks has evolved enough just for us to be in the classroom amongst whites, but are the programs really designed for us? I've so many, seen so many of my peers, especially lately, like, they graduated, I've seen them graduate, I see them preparing to graduate from grad school with their masters, I see other people on the PhD track, and it's, it's uplifting. Um, but I do agree that they're, especially in terms of the higher levels of higher education, so like the masters and the PhD programs, um, if it's not by us, it's not necessarily for us. So even though we have come so far, some students feel that programs are not geared towards blacks. So what does that say about the quality of degrees? Also, I think the value of degree has become somewhat diluted because people are just working to get a degree so they can enter into the workplace. So what I'm not seeing now are students who are learning for the sake of learning. And that hurts. All in all, blacks are getting the same education that a white person gets, but are the programs really for us?